we have a GE dryer that's not starting. Um, first thing I do is look at the knob. You see that there's little hairline cracks in this one here. So whenever you spin it, you don't hear the timer actually turning. You'll hear the clicks. It sounds actually pretty rough whenever you turn these timers. But on this one, the knob is just spinning over the timer. So order you a new knob. But on this one, I just put on a new knob here and you can actually hear that timer clicking. You hear it's a different noise. But here's an easy fix if your GE dryer is not working. Here's a closer look at that knob that has those hairline cracks in them. And, but as you spin this over the timer, um, you'll, you'll notice it's not turning it. And an easy way to test it to make sure is to get yourself some pliers. Take this knob off and turn that timer with some pliers. And if you can turn it uh, maybe five degrees or so, hit the start button and she'll start, you'll know. But I'll leave this part number in the description below. And just remember, it's not just on this model. If you have a GE dryer uh, with a timer model, not an electronic control board, take a look at the knob. I've seen these knobs fail on many GE dryers. So if you got a GE dryer, first thing to look at is this knob and see if you have any hairline cracks like this.